Okay, question number seven from C34. This is 7B um, of C34, January 2019, International A level paper. It says using the substitution u equals 2x minus 3 or otherwise, use calculus, calculus to find the exact area of R, giving your answer in the form A plus B root 5, where A and B are constants to be found. Now, that's from the question on the previous page, which um, I've got a picture of here. So we have here, let me just uh, move this stuff down here. So we have here basically a graph and we have a shaded region under the curve. Between four and six, we have the equation. Okay, and we have to use the substitution u equals 2x minus 3 or otherwise. So we'll just use the substitution to do this. Okay. So we got the substitution u equals 2x minus 3. Okay, so we're going to use that substitution to find the the uh, area under this curve between 4 and 6. So we have to basically use integration by substitution. So um, what we have is we have the equation is y equals x plus 7 over root of 2x minus 3. And we want to find the integral of y with respect to x between the limits of 4 and 6. Now that's going to be the integral of y and what we do when we do substitution, I like to make this, the, the letter what they gave us is u, so y dx du, du will give me the same thing as this. However, as I'm going to be integrating with respect to u, I must change the limits in terms of u. So when x is equal to 4, u is going to be 2 times 4, which is 8, 8 minus 2, which is 5. So when x is 4, u is 5. So I have to put a 5 here because this is now with respect to u. And when x is equal to 6, u is going to be 2 times 6, which is 12 minus 3, which is 9. So I'm going to have to put a 9 here. Okay, now I have to basically change all of these so that they are in terms of u. So we have y equals x plus 7 over 2x minus over the square root of 2x minus 3. Okay, so we got u equals 2x minus 3, so I can replace this part with u. So that part will become the square root of u. That's not a problem, okay? But the x plus 7 part, I have to think about how to change it. So we have u is equal to 2x minus 3. Um, let's make x a subject of this. If I make x a subject of this, I'll have u plus 3 add 3 to both sides and then divide by 2 is equal to x. So I can replace this x by u plus 3 over 2. So now I can say therefore x plus 7 is the same as saying u plus 3 over 2 plus 7. Let's just make that into one fraction. That's going to be u plus 3 plus now, if you make it under one fraction, this is going to become 14 over 2, so it's plus 14. So you end up with u plus 17 over 2. So that's what this part becomes. All right, so I can replace, I can write y equals u plus 17 divided by 2 over the square root of the square root of u. All right, so that 2 will go underneath, so you'll end up with uh, basically y is equal to, you'll end up with y is equal to u plus 17 over 2 times root u. Okay, so I can replace the y with that. So I've got the limits between 5 and 9. So instead of y, I'm going to put u plus 17 divided by 2 times root u. Now I've got to find dx du. dx du. Okay. Um, I guess that's pretty easy to do this way. We know that x equals u plus 3 over 2. So it's u over 2. So it's a half u plus 3 over 2. So dx du is going to be a half. dx 
du is going to be a half. So that's pretty easy. I could have done it in another way. Okay. Um, I could have found what du dx is, which is 2, and then said dx u is a half. So it's the same thing. It's just as easy. So I can replace the du, dx du, sorry, with a half. So I'm going to put times a half. So this is the y part, and this is the dx du part. And then I've got my du. So I'm going to integrate that with respect to u. Now you see I've got rid of all of the x's and replaced them with u's. So you end up here with um, basically what I'll do is get ready for integration. I can take out this quarter outside just to make life a bit easier. Because you've got here a half and you've got this. These two will multiply to give you four root uh, U, so I'll take that out first and then what I can do is in order for me to integrate this I should split it into separate terms so this is like u divided by a half u which is u to the sorry u divided by u to the power of a half which is u to the power of a half because it's one you have to subtract the power so one minus a half is going to give you a half so you got u to the power of a half plus and this will be 17 over uh, u to the power of half, which is 17 times u to the power of minus a half. Okay, and all of that has to be different integrated, sorry, with respect to u, with these limits. And I've taken out this quarter just to make life maybe a bit easier. So now we're ready to integrate this with respect to u. So this is going to give us a quarter. I'll change my integral sign to square brackets now because I'm going to integrate. So this is u to the power of, you have to add one to the power. And divide by the new power. When you divide by 3 over 2, it's, it's the same as multiplying by 2 over 3. Dividing by 3 over 2 is like multiplying by 2 thirds. So that's 2 thirds u to the power of 3 over 2. And then I've got to add 1 to the power, so that's going to become a half. So I'll have um, u, it's going to become positive, it's still, it will be positive. u to the power of a half. Now when I'm going to divide by half, it's like multiplying by 2. So that 17 will be multiplied by 2, gives me 34. Okay, I don't need to put the plus C because we have a definite integral. We have to substitute 9 and 5 into this. And then we're going to get our answer. Okay, I don't have to put X back in here at all because if I just use the U values we've got here, it will give us the same answer. It makes life a lot easier. So now I'm going to substitute 9 into this. So I have a quarter. Don't forget that quarter. Then I'm going to have 2 thirds. 2 thirds times 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, now how do they want the answer in terms of roots and powers? Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I will change this actually in terms of third form. Okay, so this is like the square root of u cubed. So it's like the square root of 9 cubed. That's what that means. Okay, I've just put instead of u9 plus and this is like the square root of 9 so that's 34 times the square root of 9 minus and then I'm going to put 5 into there so it's like 2 thirds times the square root of 5 cubed okay plus 34 times the square root of 5 Okay, oops, let me make that into a square bracket like the start. Okay, so now let's see where that leads us. Okay, so I'm going to actually go to the next page. Okay, so now um, let's simplify this. So you got a quarter uh, times two thirds times. Now, the square root of 9 is 3, 3 cubed is 27, so that's times 27, plus 34 times 3, okay, and minus, now this is going to be uh, 5 squared is 25, so it'll be 5 root 5, so 2 thirds times 5 root 5. Let me just confirm that, you're going to have the square root of 5 cube just to show you that's correct that's going to give me 5 root 5 okay because you're going to square the 5 it's going to give you 25 and the square root of 25 is 5 as you're left with 5 root 5 plus 34 times root 5 okay so this is going to give me 
This cancels with that, gives you 9, that's 18. So that's 18 plus 34 times 3. 18 plus 34 times 3 gives me 120. So you've got a quarter times 120 minus, so this is 10 over 10, this is minus 10 over, let me keep this in a bracket, 10 over 3 root 5 plus 34 root 5. Okay, so you've got 10 over 3 plus 34. So 10 over 3 plus 34. That gives me 112 over 3. So that gives me a quarter times 120 minus 112 over 3 times root 5. Okay, so a quarter times 20 is 30 minus and 112 divided by 4 gives me 28 so you got minus 28 over 3 times root 5 and that's how we had to express our answer so basically the a we don't have to write this down or well, it's better to because there's constants to be found so a is equal to 30 and b is equal to minus 28 over 3 and there we have answered this question as well.